Can I ask you to weigh in on, you know, what transpired? Even though you have said that, you know, it was needless, that, uh, you know, part of the amendment of the Electoral Act in terms of reordering of uh, the, the election sequence, do you think, you say that they should discard it completely? Is that no, what, what, what you think? Are you suggesting say, that? What I'm trying to say is that that clause is minor. Mm -hmm. If you compare with other clauses, like PPC, like, uh, what is it called, card reader, like electronic footing. That one is infinitesimal. And it's the one carrying the day. It's the one carrying our attention. Both in the academia, both in politics, both in news. That's what is carrying attention. So do you think... What if that one is removed, that's why I say, can't we give and take? And say if this one will be the one that will cause problems. And it's minor. But we heard that from the National Assembly yesterday, because even though <laughs> there was some disruption, we also heard the Deputy Senate President hold that stance that perhaps that, you know, that should be put in a separate bill. It should be bill. separate or put aside. So that has been resolved? Yeah, that's my submission too. Okay. Now, looking from there, uh, uh, you know, and the actions that followed thereafter, we saw uh, Senator Ovio Moagege alleging alongside other senators that that particular um, clause was targeted at President Muhammad Buhari. What did you make of that controversy? That has been our political life in Nigeria. We read meanings into things. We interpret things according to our conscience or according to our interest. As far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, he may, that's his own personal observation or interest, or a group of them may believe like that. That, oh, this thing you put here is because of the president, Buhari. Another person will say, no, we want it because we want a free and fair without anybody influencing other people's election. You listen to the, the two sides, and if you want, to, you want to, be, to, 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 to be objective, when you are passing a bill of that magnitude, there's need for individual thought not forced vote, so that people can see clearly that is the people, this is how the people that voted. And electronic voting is used in the National Assembly. Everybody in the constituency will know that my representative in the Senate voted for this. Mm. That will have solved the problem. So what did you make of the allegations then of Senator Omwagege and, you know, some senators, you know, who said that that was targeted? Do you think that they should have said that as senators? They are, no, it's not expected of them, but this is Nigeria. It's not expected to be reading meanings and be giving interpretations, personal interpretations that can cause more crisis in the system. It should not be from an other statesman. Would, would you also say that the senators were right then in the actions that they took against him? As we haven't heard that, you know, other actions were taken against other members. Uh, apart from the controversy we heard brewing in the case of former uh, Nasarawa state governor, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember his name now. Malaji Adamu. Adamu. Exactly. Uh, Malaji Abdullahi Adamu. Mm -hmm. Apart from him, we did not hear that any other senator, you know, fell into the uh, category of Senator of Yomagige, even though he was not the only one who went to express his opinion as to how he felt about the reordering. Do you think the senators were right? Mm, maybe because what I read is that the senator had gone to court to challenge the action. Are you getting it? That's the suspension. The suspension. Or the reordering, which one of them? The suspension is suspension. He has gone to challenge it in court. So I learned, so I read. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. And they said, if any case is in court, you keep comments on it unless, until judgment is delivered. In any way... Mm -hmm. We have to take a moment sure. now. We'll take a break now. And when we, we come back, we'll continue uh, discussions on this particular matter. Please stay with us. Well, we're continuing our conversation here on this particular matter of the incident that transpired in the National Assembly yesterday. And still with us in the studio is uh, Professor Kamal Bello, who's a professor of political science. I'm just wondering, you know, some of the things that you were trying to explain about the, the you know, the incidents that happened. You say that the National Assembly, I mean, that the senator shouldn't have expressed uh, such sentiments in terms of how he felt you know, about that clause being targeted at the president. 
uh, the question then is, what should have followed? Do you think the National Assembly was justified? You're saying that the matter is in court, and so it's difficult to comment. But we've seen lawyers comment on it. They, 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 they've weighed in on it in different, under different circumstances. What are your thoughts on it? Do you think that, let's even leave Senator Omo Agege aside, do you think that the National Assembly has power to suspend its own members? Power to suspend? Yes. Their members? They have. The Senate has power to suspend its members. Does it? For that amount of time? For the, in, they said it's in their law, but not the Constitution of Nigeria. It's the National Assembly law, but not the Constitution of Nigeria. Do you think they should have that kind of power? Yeah, what I'm saying, even no matter what power somebody has, are you getting it? That's what we call best practice. You placate in administration. You do, somebody commits offense. You give him what you call first father warning. Second father warning. Before written warning. First, second. Then third, query. Before you're not suspended. We're human. We can commit mistakes. We can offend one another. You give room for change. Not everything punishment. It's our character in Nigeria that if, you, if a child even in the house commit any offense, the next thing is to kill him. To show that yes, he has done wrong. And sometimes you can placate him, advise him, and he can change. Be friendly with him. Know why he's doing that. You know, mm. Professor, the, you, I know you said this. Let me yeah, 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 quickly follow up with this. You say that, you know, the, the, the senator should have placated, um, you know, yeah. Senator Ovioma. Yeah, I'm only suggesting that there are ways to address issues of such nature. Deviance mm -hmm. is normal in life. Uh, okay, so just wondering then, how would you have suggested that, you know, that, that matter proceed then? Um, the senators eventually did suspend him and he, you know, he was away on suspension ostensibly only for us to see him come back even though he was said to have taken that matter to court. We haven't heard that the court has resolved the matter in his favor but we saw him back in the National Assembly. Do you think he should have come back to but the National Assembly? But the procedure in court is that if you have a case in court, they will say let the status quo remain until the judgment is delivered. In, in your view, I know you've said his remarks uh, concerning the Electoral Act Amendment targeting Buhari were not appropriate. But does it constitute an illegality, in your opinion? As far as I'm concerned, I have a different perception about Nigeria, about life. Are you getting it? If it is according to my opinion, I have said it. For them to raise that this issue of amendment is for social reasons. It's for social reasons. Another set of people said, no, we want it for this social reason. And all of them, to me, is personal. We should not be. What we need to think is corporate. What would be better for Nigeria and Nigerians? Then let's put it in the amendment of the, of the electoral law. Instead of thinking of something personal, if I put the election of uh, president first, it will favor me as a, as a representative for senator. If I put it last, it will not favor me. All those things are too petty, as far as I'm concerned. They are too petty. To me, governance is service. If you want to serve, and serve dedicatedly, you don't need to struggle. You to try and make sure people realize you and put you there. And you serve diligently. Mm. We have to thank you most kindly for coming on Sunrise Daily. Professor Kamal Bellu is a professor of political science. Sunrise Daily continues in a moment right now with another perspective. Please stay with us.